A new addition to 8.2 is the XTCQ. It has eight bands with a high and low pass filter with lots of shapes to choose from in each band. We have notch, bell, high and low shelves, and high and low pass filters. The high and low pass filters can go up to 48 dB per octave. When you grab the triangle, it makes it easy to find the frequency you want to boost or cut. And there's a piano roll so you can see exactly what note or frequency you're adjusting. The next feature is the library downloader. You can find that under window, library downloader. And Mixbus already comes with a lot of great bundled content, but this is another way that you can discover even more great sounds you can use in your next production. All you do is just click on install. And when you're done, you can go over to the Q page and you can find your newly downloaded clips ready to explore. You'll notice by looking at the edit window, you can now see the grid lines through the regions. This is really helpful when you want to go in and cut things up and move things around. And the grid lines are still visible even when you move a region on top of another one. We've also modified the record modes for even greater flexibility. We now have layered, non-layered, and sound on sound. So in layered mode, each new recording will become a new layer. And these layers can be freely edited. For non-layered mode, your recording will replace what's currently there. This is a workflow that can be related to the days of recording on the tape. And the last mode is sound on sound. In this mode, you can monitor both the input and the disc so you can hear all previous layers as you're recording. Also new in 8.2 is Quick Export. You can find that under Session, Export, and Quick Export. And the keyboard shortcut is Command E or Control E on a PC. So you can choose from any number of presets, your export range, and you can choose to open the folder where the files are or not. And the last thing we've added in 8.2 is the ability to access any plugins presets directly from the right click menu. And this also applies to the channel strip EQ and compressor. So now you can right click on the EQ, presets will be on top and you can either choose to make a new preset, reset the plugin, or choose from any number of included presets based on your track. 